Reviews are more important than ever to help grow your dental practice. So today we're talking about four effective and simple ways you can increase your online reviews for your dental practice. Hi, my name is Kayvon Ma. I'm a co-founder at The Doc Sites. My expertise is in helping dentists increase their online visibility and attract more quality patients to their dental practice. So reviews, you might know they're important, but for those who don't, here is why. Everyone nowadays, when they get referred to you or they hear about you, the first thing they do is what? They Google you, right? And inevitably, the first thing that comes up are your reviews. They show up towards the end of search results. And if they don't, people are going to go check you out anyways, whether it's on Facebook reviews, Google reviews, Yelp, right? So when you have credibility and when you have great reviews, think of it like adding gasoline to the fire because it's going to make your marketing much more effective. I'll share a story with you. I had a client in the Los Angeles area. And if you know, Los Angeles is very competitive for dentists. So we launched his website and we're starting his marketing and I check in with him less than two months after his launch. And I'm like, how are things going? And he says, great. I'm already getting new patients from Google. And I was pretty surprised because LA is very competitive. Getting found on Google does take time. So as we're chatting on the phone, I'm looking him up and I say, oh, there's the difference. Using a strategy that I'm going to share with you today, this dentist went from having two reviews to having almost 40 reviews in less than two months. And that is what helped him attract more patients. So there's a big benefit to your reviews. Now we're going to get into the four effective methods. Number one is actually just ask the right patients at the right time for a review. When a patient says, I'm so happy. Thank you so much. I love you guys. This was so great. You finally fixed my teeth. That's the perfect time to ask. Some teams actually are a little bit more strategic. And something you could do here is actually, if you have a morning huddle, talk to your team and say, Hey, who do you think would be a good candidate to ask for a review? Your team member might say, listen, I know Susie, she's grumpy all the time but John and Kevin, they will be ecstatic. Let's definitely ask them for a review. When you have some kind of intention and ask the right patients at the right time, reviews will happen. Just remember, you don't wanna ask the patient who's grumpy or you know, has got a big toothache and they got a, a you know, big bill. So again, ask the right patients at the right time. The second strategy is to actually use a QR code and print it out in your office and train your team on it. The story of this, how I found out about this is we have a pediatric dental practice. They have about seven locations throughout California. And I noticed in a couple months, they went from maybe less than 10 reviews to close to 50 reviews in almost all of their locations. So I was on the phone with the office manager and I was like, what are you guys doing? Are you doing a software? Are you doing giveaways? She's like, no, we actually print out these QR codes. We place them in our operatories in our training. And then we train our staff to actually ask the patient for the reviews. I was curious. So I was like, uh, tell me more. She's like, well, you know, some people know how to use a QR code. Have you ever been in a restaurant? Nowadays, everyone's using QR codes for menus. So it's really simple as that. And just having them point their camera to something, making it easier. But she said, some people don't know that, right? So for those who maybe are older or not so familiar with using a QR code or technology, she says their staff will actually say, do we have permission to touch your phone and show you how? Once they say, yeah, okay, great. They take the phone, they scan it, it pulls it up, you know, they'll give it back to the, the person to type it in, or sometimes they'll type it in for them, right? It's their review. They're just typing it for them and they give it back to the patient so they can submit it, so they can review it, which is really important because you want it to come from the patient. That was the strategy this pediatric dental practice used to more than three times their online reviews. So that's a really, really great strategy. But here's the thing. You can't just leave the QR code and have it work itself, right? You need need to train your team and staff to actually ask for those reviews. The third effective strategy is to use the software that will text or email patients when they leave your office. This works really well. I've seen doctors who have 300, 500, over a thousand five-star reviews. And I say, what's the secret? What are you doing? And they'll say, oh, we use a software like Swell, like BirdEye, Medento, Dental Intelligence. 
These softwares make it easy for you and your staff because you don't have to remember to ask someone. Maybe you're a type of dentist who doesn't feel comfortable asking. Maybe your staff is focused on other priorities. What this does, it will automatically text or email your patients after the appointment and say, hey, did you have a great review? Please share your experience. Now, I would recommend don't send it immediately to the patient because usually when they're leaving the office, they're picking up kids, they're doing other things, they're running life. So maybe in the early evening or late, late afternoon that day, send that text because it's going to increase the probability that they'll actually open it up and say, hey, you know, I did have a great review. Now a bonus tip is I heard this from a oral surgeon who had close to 300 five-star reviews and I asked him, What's your secret? So he did something similar, but a little bit more manual, but it was still effective. So here's a bonus tip. He said that after every surgery, I will actually at five o'clock set aside 30 minutes to call the patients and say, hey, it's Dr. So-and-so, how are you doing? The patient, first of all, is shocked that the doctor is calling. Second, they, they feel like, wow, like, this is amazing. The doctor's checking in on me. So they feel some connection and some sense of reciprocity. Then after the doctor says, hey, like, you know, I just want to make sure everything's good. Great. No inflammation. Hey, Kayvon, would you, would you do me a favor and leave a review if you had a great experience with us? It would mean the world to me. Very interesting. I've heard that exact term from other people. It would mean the world to me, right? So he was using that and because it was the dentist, because he was asking and he blocked off time, that made it effective and he was growing consistently his online reviews. Tip number four is to give a cash incentive to every team member for the reviews you get. So I heard about this at a dental trade show. I see a dentist and he's got close to 400 five-star reviews on Google. And I was like, what's the secret? And he shares with me, he's like, well, I give a cash incentive for my team. For every 15 five-star reviews we get, I give them $100 cash. And he says, I don't play any games. I give it to them cash right there. I don't wait. So they know I'm not messing around. And I asked him, um, so what does that do to the team? Like, do you have to manage them? Do you give everyone or only the people who get reviewed? He says, no, everyone. So he gives everyone the $100. And what it does is it creates a self-managing team, right? Because the front desk is going to pick up the phone a little nicer. They're going to be a little quicker. The back office is going to set things up and help with the procedures a little faster. Everyone wants that cash incentive. So it kind of polices itself. And what's great is you don't have to manage them. You, as a dentist, already have enough things on your mind, collecting insurance and team members and hiring and improving processes and systems, not to mention the clinical work. So what's great about this strategy is that you can basically make a clear goal for the team and give them an incentive. And because it's a team incentive, they're going to be organized to want to work together and it'll work itself out. I hope you enjoyed these four effective ways to get more online reviews for your dental practice. If you would like to get more out of your website or online marketing, or we can support you in any way, visit DocSites.com.